Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Larry Cool, the gamer, and I'm back. You guys are probably wondering why I haven't made a video in a week or two. It's mainly because I, I don't have that much to show off, honestly. I'd like to get some more stuff, but the problem is I just don't have the money to do it. But there will be uh, some stuff to show. Because I'm lucky enough to have this stack here. But in the future there will be even more stuff to come. So consider this kind of a update. A video game and DVD update. I have a PlayStation Vita. I've never really showed it before because I don't have that many games. My mom ended up finding the PlayStation Vita and gave it to me. It was like, here, here you go. I found it. Stored away somewhere. But at the time, I had 20 games for the system. I had traded them off because I didn't know where the hell my Vita was at. So I was like, damn, I, I guess I might as well just trade the games in. Well, that was pretty stupid because years later, my mom ends up finding my PlayStation Vita. And it works great. It works fine to this day. I uh, love this thing. It's a lot of fun. A lot of good games on here. But when I had to look for some new games, there's only like two or three places I know that sell like retro video game stores. Or video games at retro game stores, rather. And uh, I couldn't barely find any games. But at Pastime Legends, I did come across... They had three games in their, in their uh, inventory... And I ended up picking up Disgaea 4. I played some of it. Um, it's good. I didn't get very far though. Um, it's a lot of like uh, reading dialogue in this game. Yeah, but it's an RPG. And uh, there's a lot of leveling up to do in this game. And it's kind of turn based. It's not really like Final Fantasy. Or you know Dragon Age is more like of an action RPG. It's more tactical. You know, I mean, like, you hit the opponents a couple times and then they hit you and it keeps going on until one of you is dead. Um, but I didn't get very far, but from when I played, it was pretty good. And I also got, not too long after, because they had two other games in their, their uh, inventory at the time. And when I went back, they did have another game. It was a Fantasy Star game. But I didn't end up getting that one because it was in Japanese and uh, I, I wasn't about to like buy a Japanese game because I didn't think it would work on my North American PlayStation Vita. Besides that, in Bad Apple Wars, they had another game. I did some game gameplay, like I looked it up on YouTube for the gameplay. And it looked something that was interesting, it was up my alley. Fate Extello the Umbrella Star. So I went ahead and picked this up. I, I know this game's on PlayStation 3. But I picked up the PS Vita version of it. And it's like an action RPG game. Um, you're like this like king. And like this girl right there is like your girlfriend. And uh, you basically go through the levels. And you like kick all sorts of ass. Like you're like... All these multiple enemies on the screen that you have to like kick ass like beat them up and everything and uh it's actually a really fun game later on in the game you end up recruiting some other people to help you out and you gotta like you know test their loyalty their ability you ask them questions get to know them one of them's like a health master he can like you know give you potions to heal you and then there's like another dude who can like uh you know upgrade your like weapons like your sword or a gun or whatever and then it'd be like this other dude who's like just there to like aid you in any sort of way any sort of maintenance so it's interesting it was definitely an interesting like action rpg slash like hack and slash type of game pretty good it's like dynasty warriors but more focused on like the action rpg aspect of the game and i thought it was pretty good 
these are some games that I picked up. Well, one of them I got at Mr. Deals, the other retro game store, Persona 4 Golden. I basically got this in the trade for my 3DO games and uh, got some money and I traded it for this and uh, some money and one other game, but that was a PS2 game. Um, I already showed off my PS2 collection, so I'm not going to show that off. But uh, this is an RPG game and it's, uh, it's good. Very story based game, a lot of fun. There's a lot of talking in this game. But, you know, if you enjoy that sort of game, then it's up your alley. I thought it was pretty good. It's uh, it's, it's one of the more expensive games on PlayStation Vita. I, it was uh, priced at $50. I got it in a trade for free. But uh, this game is going to run you around that price. $40, $50, maybe $60. You know, maybe you want to get the regular version. Play Persona 4. Um, for the PlayStation 2, I think it was on, or PlayStation 3. You might want to try that version. That might be a little bit cheaper, like 20, 25 bucks. This I got off of Amazon. I got Dungeon Hunter Alliance. It's an action RPG game, and it's pretty fun. It's definitely one of the first RPG games that was on the system. And for when I played, it was pretty good. Um... It's not a turn-based or tactical RPG at all. It's definitely a action RPG. You go through the town, you talk to people, you get to know where to go next, then eventually get to into these like caves and like you get like this gold and stuff. You fight a boss and then like you beat the boss, you open up the door, you go to the next level. Same type of shit. Um, but it was really good and uh, definitely worth playing. And the last game, sadly, I do not have the case for, but I did get off of Amazon or eBay. Um, they I, they said it was complete, but they were a bunch of liars because they sent me a loose cart. And that is Zero Escape Virtua's Last Reward. And this is different. I wanted something different than an RPG game because those four games were all RPG. This is more of kind of like a visual novel slash like I want to say horror game but not really that scary honestly and there's some puzzle solving that goes on in this game because you basically were like kidnapped by some like evil monster who's holding you and about eight other people in this one area and then like you end up working together with two other people and you split up in three different groups and you have to basically puzzle solve throughout the whole game and there's some murder and stuff involved it's very good um but very frustrating at times very hard i mean i i got stuck at this one part and didn't know what the fuck to do so i had to look up uh gameplay online because like i was getting pissed off at um one or two things i had to do and i could not figure out where to go but from what I played, it is pretty good. Now next, we're going to move on to the DVDs. I'm going to go ahead and just jump in. Without Remorse was pretty good. I thought it was a good uh, movie for 2021. Uh, I got the bootleg here, obviously. But uh, yeah, pretty good action movie. Tom Clancy movie. Quantum of Solace, James Bond. Very good James Bond movie. Daniel Craig knows how to act. Very very good. I definitely recommend watching it. Taken 3. Very good Liam Neeson film. The last Taken movie ever made. Pretty good. A lot of action. Oh yeah. Here I got a bunch of like copies of these older films. Hold on. <laughs> I have Dick Tracy from 1990, pretty good. SWAT from 2003. The Source Code, which was an interesting like action thriller about this dude who died, and like he has to rescue a bunch of people on this train because it's gonna blow up in like eight minutes, and he has to find a bomb and he has to find a killer, but he he keeps like being like forced back in. 
because he makes some mistakes along the way, but eventually he gets it. It's pretty good. That came out 2011, Back to the Future. A very good movie with Michael J. Fox. Good sci-fi. Dawn of the Dead. This was an awesome remake. I mean, it kicks so much ass. Like, I've watched this like two or three times. It's, it's so good, man. Nowadays, remakes usually suck. But that one's pretty good. Hacksaw Ridge, very good movie. Very good war movie. Half Past Dead with Steven Seagal, very good. The Last of Us Part 2. Now we're on to the games again. Um, this game is a very disappointing game from what I've heard. I waited for this game to drop in price because I would have bought this at, at launch, like when it first came out. But when I heard that the reviews on this game were kind of shit, I was like, well, you know what? I guess I'll wait. And I waited until it dropped down to $26. Now, is it worth that much money? I think so. If you can get this for $30 or less, it's definitely worth the money. You're going to pay for it. But don't go in expecting it to be as good as the first one, because it wasn't. Blaze Blue, Cross, Tag Battle. I haven't played it yet, but I know what it is. It's a fighting game, and Blaze Blue usually is really good. Destroy All Humans, Big Willy Unleashed. Uh, not as good as the first two. Uh, Destroy All Humans games, but it is still a decent game for Wii. Like, if you can find anything decent on Wii, pick it up. But there's a lot of shovelware on Wii that I just don't feel like picking up. Like Anubis 2 and Ninja Breadman and these crappy games like, uh, you know, um, Cooking Mama and, and uh, Wii Play and shit like that. Uh, Avatar The Last Airbender, Burning Earth. A uh, decent game. It's a it's an alright um, animated like beat 'em up type of game. Turning Point Fall of Liberty. Liberty. I can see why people said that this game sucks. Um, although I don't think it's terrible. I think that the game, the graphics look terrible. Like I mean, this is a PS3 game for crying out loud. The graphics look more like a PS2 game. You can tell. The textures weren't very good in this game. And the fact that the game's only about uh, six or seven hours long, that really hinders the game. I have not actually beaten this game, but from what I've played, it is decent. But it is not a great game. So I put this as an okay game for a first-person shooter. Uh, Special Forces. Special Special Forces Nemesis Strike, sorry. Uh, third person shooter, I have not played it yet, but I have seen gameplay on it, and it is, it does look pretty awesome. I picked it up at J Street Video Games in the mall, and I look forward to playing it. X Assault 2, Lone Wolf, very good game. Uh, Xbox exclusive, robot shoot 'em up, definitely worth playing. Far Cry 1, Instinct, very good. Also on 360, and it was like an updated version of it. Um, loved the Far Cry series. A lot of fun. First game's a little rough now, but it's still a very good game. Now I have some Xbox 360 games, even though I don't have a 360 anymore. I have Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Very good game. Bioshock, very good game. Very good shooter. Battlefield 4, very good game. Also on PS4, PS3, and... I think it's on Xbox One. Murdered Soul Suspect. This is a good detective game. You like died in the game, and your wife died, but somehow you come back to life. You basically want to avenge your wife's death and your death, and find out who murdered you, and unravel the truth about everything. It's pretty good. Um, received mixed reviews when the game first came out, um, but I think it's pretty good. It's also on PS3, PS4, and Xbox One. Monopoly Streets, very fun game. I played this with my friend Ricky, and uh, we had some fun playing it. We played Classic Mode on it. And the last game I got here is Bioshock 2, which is also a very good game. If anybody wants these 360 games and is willing to buy them from me, let me know, because I'm willing to buy or I'm willing to trade. Well, that's all I got to say. Those are all the games that I have here and DVDs. 
I thank you guys for tuning in, and uh, there will be another video game update in the future. So stay tuned for that. And thank you guys for tuning in, and take care. Have a great day. Bye.